like we're so lucky to live in a country like Canada where I can go out and I can spend my life skiing around and shooting targets. When I started Bath and when I was 10, I had such a good group of friends in it. There was like eight of us who just got along so well, so training practice wasn't about training, it was coming to hang out with your friends. I was cross-country skiing as soon as I could walk, and then my older brother um, Jordan and my older sister Chandra, they had already started Bath with the Canmore Nordic Ski Club, so then when I was 10 I was allowed to come out and try. Vancouver was always in my sights. The main goal was just to like, make it to the Olympics. Um, I shot really well in the sprint. I hit 10 for 10 in the sprint, but I was 70th. My skiing wasn't very good there. The big thing for me was even just making the Olympic team. I was just so proud to be a Canadian at these home Olympics. Not very many athletes get to say that they competed at a home Olympics. It's pretty rare. So it was just so inspiring to see all the people who didn't care how you did, didn't really matter where you placed. They were just so excited to cheer for you. It was just a really magical event. Sometimes in the cross-country sprints, you can't be too nice and friendly, and you have to be aggressive out there on the trail, because if you let somebody pass you just because you think you're in their way, then that could be your shot at a podium or top 10. Shooting is a big mental game, so you have to be able to switch from skiing to shooting. You can't take your shooting out onto the ski course, because otherwise both of them will suffer. This little hole in my finger is uh, so that you can have more feeling with the trigger. Okay. So even in the winter we have it, so you pull your finger out, put it back in every time you shoot. Sochi's a really hard course, so we've been working a lot on climbing and making sure that we're um, as strong as we can be on the uphills, because those uphills are really steep and they're really long. One miss isn't the end of the world, but if you really want to be on the podium, 100% uh, shooting is definitely the goal. If you are having good races, then the commentators will start to talk about you during the race. So you really need to be able to block them out and just focus on yourself and hitting the targets. Someone once told me that the greatest power an Olympian has is the power to give back. So for sure, after I'm done with my sporting career, I'd really love to give back to the sport of biathlon and get more girls involved in sport. Last year was my best season ever. I had some really good results and just sort of kept upping them. I got to go to my first world championships. So now going into Sochi, having all my criteria met, means that I don't have to try and peak in December just to make the team. That I can train and be totally focusing my training towards being ready for come February.